total solar eclipse is just five days away. One local business celebrating is Mommy Bay Brewing. Breweries out with six variations of its total eclipse beer. I know it's the beer. They've had that beer for a while and it just worked <laughs> out for them. So now they got a bunch of variations of it. Well, as you know, on Wednesdays, we like to try out different jobs. And this time I visited Mommy Bay Brewing to see if I could brew some beer. Lucky. <laughs> About a decade ago, my husband and I decided we wanted to brew our own beer. So we bought a kit, made a batch, and quickly put the equipment into storage. But I feel like the experts here at Mommy Bay Brewing Company can lead me in the right direction. So I'm going to try this. This is the brew deck. So this is the brew deck, okay. Uh, we've got a glass hopper going. We've just um, steeped the grain, transferred it all into our boil kettle. Um, just about to get up to a boil and add our bittering addition of hops. So it's hot in there because my camera just fogged up a little bit. Yeah, we steep it at about 150 degrees and we'll raise that up to a maximum of about 170 to get a full extraction of the sugars. Okay, and then what is happening over here? Uh, we're just getting up to a boil, not quite uh, vigorous yet, mm -hmm. but you can see on the corners it's starting to get there. Uh -huh. So okay. once it gets rolling, um, we're going to take a sample that we use to get our starting point mm -hmm. for um, like our, gra uh, we call it gravity. That's how much sugar we know is in the solution. And the sugar is kind of our starting point for the alcohol. What can I do? Where, 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 how can I help you? All right, so we need to fire our uh, top steam jacket. Okay. And the way we do that, there's this little crank valve that kind of looks like a garden hose. Okay. Uh, lefty Lucy, and that's just gonna, really gonna fire the steam. And I wanna do that. Yes, ma'am. Lefty ma Lucy, okay. We're really gonna see the uh, boil start to pick up. Okay. Am I still Lucy? Still yeah, lefty? you can go all the way. Oh, we'll, okay. we'll dial it back once we get rolling. This looks like like something a horse would eat. <laughs> yeah, they kind of look like rabbit pellets. It so does. Uh, the hops, they look like pine cones when they're growing off the vine. Mm -hmm. um, then the harvester will pick them and dry them out and pelletize them. Okay. It just makes it easier for us brewers to process and kind of clean up after the fact. So how long ago did you start this brew? I started at about 10.30. Okay. Uh, we'll mash it in, we call it mashing in. That's just mixing the water and the grain to steep it, extract all that sugar. Mm -hmm. That process takes about an hour. Mm -hmm. And then we slowly transfer it from our mash ton into our boil kettle. Okay. And we do that at a low rate to make sure we get a full extraction again. We're the engineering part of it. We're mm -hmm. trying to maximize our efficiency. Usually I wait to get a rolling boil going to mm -hmm. make sure my solution is um, thoroughly mixed before grabbing a sample. Okay. Uh, but we've been waiting for a, a, a few minutes now. Mm -hmm. If you just wanna, I can grab your GoPro there. Mm -hmm. You just dip this okay. under the liquid solution. Okay. Grab a full. I just stick it all the way down in there. Yeah? Yep. Okay. So I let it kind of fill up a bit. Here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, here we go. There we go. You gonna you gonna taste it? Well, we're gonna cool this off. <laughs> it's way <laughs> too hot right yeah. now. Okay. So we can take this, I'll trade you again. Uh -huh. This is our cool little uh, oh, okay. cooling mechanism. Okay. So this is actually plunged just to the cold water. Mm-hmm. And turn oh. that on. Yeah, let's speed up the you process. You guys are smart. Right? You've done this before. You know, for me, when I made it in a home kit, it took weeks for it to actually uh -huh. be drinkable. How long does it take here? So About the same? Uh, yeah, like I said, brew day is like a six to eight, eight six hour to period. Eight we'll add the yeast, and then mm -hmm. the yeast kind of takes it from there. And mm -hmm. that's still about a week okay. to two week period. Mm -hmm. This uh, vessel is kind of unique. It's called a, um, a unit tank. It's one big tank separated mm -hmm. into two. Okay. So this hot liquor on the bottom half is actually just all of our hot water. Hot liquor, okay. just a special name for hot water. Okay. On the top, is where we mix it with the grain and it has screens on the bottom so that all the grain stays on top and we can capture all that nice liquid okay. in our brew kettle. All right. So we're gonna open this up. Okay, dokey. Shouldn't. Whoa! There we go. Oh! Underneath there, does its thing, uh, huh? we have uh, just plastic collection barrels that um, farmers, will, farmers will pick up and uh, feed their and, pigs yeah. and livestock with. Gotcha. So. Okay, how can I help? 
All right, we've got a hoe right here. Okay. All right. All right, what, okay, I don't want to hit my camera. Whoop. Okay, do I just kind of like dig it out here? Yeah, then? absolutely. Um, you can stand on there. Yeah, I'm short, so there we go. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. There we go. I'm doing it. Doing it. <laughs> Make a beer. Hello, Mr. Beer. So Glasshopper, we mentioned, is an IPA, yes. and IPAs are hoppy, hoppy. right? That's mm -hmm. the whole you know, whole shtick of the beer. Right. So, um, and this one is quite bitter. So right. there's several uh, things to that. We add a bittering charge at mm -hmm. the start of the boil. Mm -hmm. The longer you boil the hop, there are oils in it, mm -hmm. and it really m accentuates the bitterness okay. part of it. The longer you boil, uh, more bitter, okay. essentially. Is that the IBU? Like, is yeah, that what, exactly. So if people see that on their bottle, and the higher the number, the bitter it's going to be? Exactly, okay. yep. So we're going to start with this one. You can go ahead and add that. All of it here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. The whole bucket. There we go. Perfect. Now we're rolling. Okay. Making beer, y'all. Making That's beer. What it should look, look at that. Like. It's beautiful. All right. Well, what would you say prost? Prost. <laughs> Cheers. Enjoy. <laughs> Smells good. You're yes. so lucky. I'm sorry. I wish I could. It was really out. cool in there, and that you know when you go to Mommy Bay Brewing and the, the restaurant upstairs, mm -hmm. and you could see all of that. I got to be in there. It was very cool, and everything is really immaculate. I mean, they really take care of everything. Everything's super clean, and they showed me a bunch of other stuff too. It was just a, a lot of time. In it the, takes a. It's a long process. In the last decade, this whole area has just mm -hmm. blossomed with wonderful microbreweries. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll admit, I was a beer snob. I, I liked my particular uh, commercial beer, uh -huh. and I, want, I wanted nothing to do with that stuff. <laughs> so some friends invited us to go to a microbrewery, mm -hmm. and we tasted it a few, and, and like... Opened your eyes. I love that, and yes. I love that. And now we, we make the rounds, and on mm -hmm. Sunday afternoons, we'll make the rounds and go to a few places like that. There's a, These local breweries are doing some really interesting yeah. things. Really, really interesting. And like I said, we tried it at home that one time, a couple times, really. <laughs> you know, we're going to leave it up to them. And with this Total Eclipse beer, the variations that they're doing, they're doing a tasting event. It is on Sunday. I think it starts at 5 o'clock. You can get online and get your tickets to that. I think it's like 40 bucks or whatever. You go, and there's six variations of this Total Eclipse beer, which is a good one to start with anyway. It's and remarkable how they get done. these different flavors. Mm -hmm. it, it's a basic process, but just the slight tweak, and you get these different flavors. Right, and that glass hopper is the one that we were working on when I was there, and that's probably my favorite there at Mommy Bay. Nice. That I, that I get on a regular basis. Yeah. But it is fun to try all the different ones. So, very good. Make sure you get online, get your tickets for that tasting event Sunday ahead of the eclipse. You can get tickets online for that. So, our WTL 11 team has been preparing for this total solar eclipse for more than a year. And we know there's a lot of excitement. And expect our local area could see a ton of tourism come April 8th. Expect traffic, increased demand for gas, groceries, just more people. A lot more people. Yeah. We're putting together an hour-long special on the eclipse. You can watch it. This Saturday, April 6th, from noon to 1, right here on WTOL 11, or catch it streaming right now on WTOL 11 Plus.